parents of an autistic child is very different from life of a parent who has a normal child. My son, he was uh, diagnosed uh, with autism when he was uh, around two years old. When we take him with us, he makes the strange noises and people, they get angry. They give this uh, strange looks. And uh, stem cell therapy has been uh, identified as one of the, I mean, uh, a novel technique that can be used for treating uh, autism and cerebral palsy. But at Swiss Medica, they have developed this uh, technology that allows not only IV but also intramuscular and also nasal spray of exosomes. And they have developed, I mean, protocol for different age groups. When we came here, we felt uh, at home. Yeah, because the staff members they were very polite, kind. That helped us uh, a lot to feel safe so, you know it's like a, it's like a nightmare that never ends <laughs> so it's very tough for us good afternoon to you sir first of all thank you very much for agreeing to, uh, to share your experience with us and would you please tell everyone where you come from and what brought you to our clinic all the way from far away <laughs> yeah okay good afternoon anastasia so yeah so uh, yeah so we came to swiss medica and it's a very long story so but uh, i think it will be better to i mean give you this uh, long story because it is it might help many parents like us who are in the same journey like us yeah so my son he was uh, diagnosed uh, with autism when he was uh, around 2 years old and uh, from that time onwards he has been undergoing intense uh, occupational and uh, speech therapy and during the past uh, five years, I mean, um, yeah, there has been some improvement, but uh, it's not a, I won't say it is a significant change. Okay, so we have been looking for alternative therapies, alternative treatments, and uh, stem cell therapy has been uh, identified as one of the, I mean, uh, a novel technique that can be used for treating uh, autism and cerebral palsy. There has been a notable study from Duke University, I think several years before, uh, using cord blood, uh, both uh, autologous, which is taken from the, I mean, the cord blood that is stored from during the time of delivery, and also allogenic, which is, I mean, the blood taken from a donor, but with blood matching condition. Yeah, so this uh, treatment was given to, I mean, uh, many uh, kids who are in this autistic spectrum, ideally between two to seven years old. And there has been a significant improvement who have received this therapy. And uh, so we have been looking into this. And uh, then we, I mean, uh, discussed this with one of, uh, I mean, uh, a researcher who is working in this uh, field. And then he, I mean, he had uh, temporarily stopped his uh, research due to some reasons and then he suggested I mean Swiss Medica is one of the places where we can go go and uh, do this therapy treatment yes and uh, yeah so that's how we came to know about Swiss Medica and then we also did our own research on uh, Swiss mm -hmm. Medica treatment uh, protocol and it is uh, quite advanced in the sense that there are also other places where they do this stem cell treatment and uh, what they do is the IV, mm -hmm. uh, the intravenous, uh, I mean, uh, uh, way of giving stem cells, and uh, also spinal injections. So this is available in many, I mean, parts of the world. But at Swiss Medica, they have developed this uh, technology that allows not only IV but also intramuscular and also nasal spray of exosomes. And they have developed, I mean, protocol for different age groups and. Uh, yeah, so this is advanced and uh, we also went through the testimonies of various, I mean, many people from different parts of the world and then they have noticed uh, significant change after having this treatment for their uh, kids. So then we were motivated to try this for our kid, yeah. And uh, we, as you know, we, we planned to come here last year, but then uh, due to some visa issues, so we could not come. And then... We went to another place because you know he's rough I mean growing so we have to get this treatment as soon as possible so we went to a different place and this time we got the visa everything ready and then we finally came here 
So for those who are planning to come to visit us, us from uh, India, they need to take care of the visa first, yeah? This is not that easy. Ah, uh, yes. So, yeah, it looks like. Yes, you're right. Yeah. And even though we came here with the UK visa, so mm -hmm. it's, you know, it's a different one. Yes, yes, UK visa or European Union visa, multi-entry visa, is mm. okay to enter Serbia. You're yes. right, yeah. And also US visa. Multi US, yeah. yes. So all these. Correct. And if you are, uh, if you have a resident permit with uh, yeah, European countries, then also it's fine, yes. Yeah, yeah. Thank you for this information. <laughs> yeah. So, um, you live in India and we are aware of the fact that there are clinics in India. Have you tried those first or... Well, what was the clinic where you had your first experience while waiting for visa to come here? Yeah, there, there are clinics in India, but they don't do stem cell treatment. They were doing stem cell treatment some time before. Yes. But uh, our government has stopped it mm. because it was through spinal injection. So I see. And uh, so it is, I mean, there is no treatment that is, I mean, um, um, I mean, related to whatever is done in uh, done at Swiss Medica, so there is no such clinics available in India. Right. And also another major problem, you know, it's uh, the awareness regarding autism in India is not very good, as in uh, many developed countries. And uh, it's not only this awareness is not only available with parents, but also with pediatrician, mm -hmm. neurologist. It's like a new topic to them. So many of the questions we have, they don't have answers. So when you say you have autism, it's not like a individualized uh, treatment approach. They have this occupational therapy, speech therapy. It's like a universal therapy. And as you know, it not only helps autism, it helps cerebral palsy. It helps uh, even if you have a stroke. So it's like a very commonly used or a broad spectrum, I mean, uh, treatment protocol. But for autism, as you know, it happens because of various reasons. It can be due to oxygen deprivation during delivery, it can be genetic, it can be environmental factor. Some kids with autism, they have this heavy metals like mercury. So I don't know, it's like a very complicated topic and there is no good awareness in India. So that is a big problem. I see. And uh, yeah, if we had not uh, known, and I think probably would have been in the same, I mean, uh, condition. Yes. Did you, sir, feel safe uh, while giving your child to our medical staff's hands uh, for the treatment? And how did your kid take the treatment itself? Yeah, so this is a very good question because uh, when we contacted Anatolio, who was uh, the medical advisor, mm -hmm. who was in touch with us, and uh, so he was, he was very frank, transparent, meaning uh, he didn't say, okay, come here, we'll cure your son. No, not like that. He told us that, okay, this is the protocol we have and it had benefited many people. Around 80 to 90 percentage of the candidates who came here, I mean, saw some amount of change, but we don't promise anything. So that is a transparent, uh, so there is transparency. So that made us more, you know, uh, more, uh, I mean, comfortable. So or, it uh, didn't scare you off? It's uh, just, yeah, uh, yes. you had more trust, you started having more trust, yeah? Yeah, more trust. Yeah, we started to have more trust. And uh, yeah, so then we, and as I said, it also, it not only, I mean, we just, it's, it's not like we Googled it and then we found this. We Googled it, of course. We read all the testimonies. We read about Swiss Medical treatment, treatment Protocol. We checked uh, many, many things. And then it was also referred by a leading researcher in this field. So he he's uh, currently working on this topic. He's publishing articles, scientific articles on this. So he referred us to you. So that also gave us uh, some mm -hmm. amount of trust. So these two aspects, I mean, made us, you know, uh, come here without any, you know, second thoughts. Yes. And when you came here and saw our procedure room and our medical staff, did you feel safe giving your child to their hands? Of course, yeah. So that is one major, you know, point which uh, you brought up because when we came here, we felt uh, at home. Yeah, because the staff members, they were very polite, kind. I mean, they were, they, they were very happy, you know. That helped us uh, a lot to feel safe. Yeah, so, and uh, especially I would like to thank uh, our uh, Dr. Snezansa. Snezana. Snezana, yeah, sorry. Mm -hmm. 
yeah so she has been like uh, checking with us like every 5 minutes and uh, you helped us a lot when we <laughs> came inside and then you i mean helped us with the accommodation uh, everything and then the nurses and the anesthesiologist so he was also very nice he was very i mean uh, comforting he was telling okay don't worry so and then there were two other staffs i believe they are quite skilled the two male staff members they did everything so well i mean so from the time we i mean uh, started this from blood test everything we felt quite you know uh, safe yes so do you mean that um, it was um, every step was medically supervised all the time yes of yeah. course yes yeah every step is every step and also every in between steps is like medically supervised and uh, yeah yes <clears throat> we realized that this kind of treatment uh, with this kind of treatment you cannot see the immediate result even though we notice sometimes the parents um the parents saying that the kid got interest in the scooter or playing with the ball immediately within the first 7 or 10 days they're here yeah mm. uh we don't expect you now to share any result we just want to know what kind of result you're hoping for to make the life of your kid less challenging mm -hmm. and for you as well as parents for sure it's challenging to have an autistic kid you had to give up a lot of stuff in your life now because someone obviously has to stay at home for for mm -hmm. al always yes yeah? someone has to stay at home so what kind of what aspects would you like for your son to improve after this treatment yeah this is uh, you know this is one of the very important question i mean because uh, the life of i mean parents of an autistic child is very different from life of a parent who has a normal child mm -hmm. i mean many problems people don't even can even, they can't even understand like what we go through starting from sleep say my wife uh, probably you know for the past 5 uh, 6 years she didn't have a sleep of like 5 uh, to 6 hours per day yeah this is like a mm -hmm. very What's basic requirement it? for a human being right so which we we normal parents take uh, as yeah, granted yeah granted yes we never realized that my wife never had a 6 hour sleep i mean in the entire 6 uh, 7 uh, years 6 years and uh, we both are you know we both are scientists we both are leading researchers in our topic we worked in leading institutions in the world and uh, you know you know she has sacrificed her entire career for him yeah so must have been painful yeah on one side when you have an autistic child you have medical bills which is much higher than usual on the other hand you lose almost like 50% percentage of your income like it is like a significantly challenging uh, life and even normal things like you know going to a restaurant having a food we we didn't we can't even think about it during the past 5 years because taking him to a place i mean people expect if you are in a social i mean place and people expect you to be i mean more behaved yes. but we can't expect this and in india also i mean you can't say india because in other places also people expect you to be you know like uh, they they are coming here to have a nice time so <laughs> and uh, other thing is you know i have i am a very religious person and from the time i was i mean i started reading uh, i I mean going to church is like a very important part of my life and it's not like just going to church I love I mean worshiping Jehovah I mean I, I love taking part all the, in all these uh, songs and everything but uh, during the past 5 years you know I have never been to a church I have never taken part in a mass I mean once in a while we go I mean when there is no crowd mm -hmm. because when we when we take him with us he makes the strange noises and people they get angry they give this uh, strange looks yeah so yeah it's kind of very tough yes and uh, it's true i mean they come here they come to church to worship right so they need silence they need peace so there's nothing we can say about them but this whole situation is yes, this is the and uh, i mean uh, his uh, schooling kindergarten is another challenging part so I mean uh, does he go to a public school or a special school for uh, for the kids with special needs? I And mean how long how how many hours a day he he's there? So your wife can 
Oh uh, yeah, so that, that's the point because you know if, if you have a regular kid, you send him to kindergarten or school, and then you be at home at peace or you do your work. Yes. But it's like uh, sending him to school, kindergarten. It's not easy. So we have to be. I mean, my wife and uh, sometimes I we are always anxious. What will happen? I mean, did he eat? Did he did he throw any tantrums? Was he aggressive? Did he hurt himself or somebody hurt him or? It's like a lot of questions. When we get a call from the kindergarten school, we are very scared. Something went wrong. So, you know, it's like a, it's like a nightmare that never ends. <laughs> so it's very tough for us. And uh, and he has been on kindergarten, but, you know, he could not be put in the next level because he don't have the necessary skills like speaking, reading, writing. Mm-hmm. So he has been in kindergarten like for more than... It's, uh, additionally, he is there for like two years, yes. How old is he now? He's seven years old. Seven. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm, yeah, they cannot uh, move him to yeah, uh, yeah. level higher because of the yeah. absence of the skills. Yes. And now he, we have arranged a shadow teacher, I mean an assistant to look after him. Mm-hmm. So she is helping us. But uh, yeah, so the reason why we came here is that to see any any improvement is very good for us. I mean, people may, that's what I mean, This the perspective is very different. when. You train a normal kid, in one year they start like playing a musical instrument. They start playing guitar. Yeah, wow, nice, very nice. But when you train an autistic kid for one year, after one year what you see, it varies, of course. Because autistic spectrum, there is this uh, very I mean, mild autism, moderate autism, severe autism. After one year what you get is your child speaks two more words, which is a significant thing for us. But for others it may seem like, oh, what? Two words, yeah. What does that mean? Yeah. So, yeah. so this treatment, we came here. Whatever we get, some advantage, some improvement in him, either in speech, behavior. So that is a big Speak. win for us. That's a big win for us. Yeah, yeah. It will change our life, not only his life, but also our life, significantly better. Yeah. So she's also picky with food, right? Yeah. That's what made you anxious also before coming here, what he would eat or something. Yes, yeah, and thank you so much so, for your help. I, but, no, I really appreciate it. We didn't do anything, it. actually. Yeah, no, 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 this is not easy, what you're doing, because especially I want to thank uh, two people in the restaurant. Uh, I just got their names, <laughs> because they have been very kind to us from the time we came here. One is uh, Marina, the other mm-hmm. one is... Uh, 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 do, yeah. Tall lady? Uh, yeah, tall lady. Yeah. 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 She has, they have been very kind because when we say we need this, they will say, oh, okay, so will it be okay for you? We'll pack more. We'll, every time they pack <laughs> more than what we, what we can eat. And also you helped us to, you know, get our hot so plate. Right. Mm-hmm. And uh, so it made our life really, you know, much, much uh, easier. Otherwise, uh, he won't eat anything. He just eats bread toast and uh, so, yeah. Yeah.